heat heat during cold weather every individual has a tendency to rub hands the rubbing causes friction between the palms of hands which causes warmth hence we say that friction produces heat what happens when you suddenly touch a glass of hot water or an ice cube you will feel a sensation of hotness or coldness this happens because there is transfer of energy in both the cases thus heat is a form of energy which makes any object hot or cold energy is transferred from one body to another because of the temperature difference between the two bodies the energy transferred from one body to another due to the difference in their temperatures is called heat energy activity if a candle burns the chemical energy is converted into heat energy when water falls from a great height to the earth its temperature increases hence the mechanical energy is converted into heat energy when a body is heated its energy increases and when it is cooled its energy decreases unit of heat the si unit of heat is joule the other unit of heat is calorie one calorie can be defined as quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 g of water by 1 degree celsius 1 kilo calorie is equal to 1000 calories cal 1 calorie is equal to 4.184 joule is equal to 4.2 joule approximately effects of heat when an object is heated it undergoes many changes some of the effects can be felt and some cannot be some effects of heat are given here change in temperature when a body is heated its temperature rises which depends upon the amount of heat received by the body from the source of heat when a body is cooled it loses heat energy and its temperature falls the extent of rise or fall of temperature of a body depends upon the quantity of heat gained or lost by it we can say that if heat is the cause temperature is the effect change in size when a body is heated an expansion occurs in it due to this the size of the body may change the expansion of a body due to heating is called thermal expansion when a material is cooled it contracts heat also accounts for chemical changes which are irreversible and form a new substance with different properties example baking of a cake heat also affects living organisms that's why water is boiled for purification change in state there are three states of matter solid liquid and gas when a body is heated there occurs a change in its state on heating a solid changes from solid to liquid when this liquid is further heated it starts boiling and changes to gaseous state conversely when a material present in its gaseous state is cooled it loses heat energy and changes to liquid state on further cooling it changes to solid state the change of a substance from one physical state to another is called change of state the effect of heat is summarized in the form of a flow chart as shown here fusion or melting fusion is a phenomenon in which a solid changes into liquid by absorbing heat melting takes place at constant temperature is called melting point which is different for different substances for example the melting point of ice is 0 degree celsius ice solid melting at 0 degree celsius gives rise to water liquid freezing freezing is a process in which a liquid changes into solid 
by giving out heat at a constant temperature. The temperature at which freezing takes place is called freezing point. For example, freezing point of water is 0 degree Celsius. Water, liquid, freezing at 0 degree Celsius, solid, gives rise to ice, solid. Vaporization or boiling Vaporization or boiling is the process in which a liquid changes into gaseous state at constant temperature by absorbing heat energy. The constant temperature is called boiling point, which is different for different liquids. For example, the boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Water, liquid, vaporization, boiling at 100 degrees Celsius gives rise to Steam, gas. Condensation The process in which a substance in its vapor or gaseous state changes into liquid state at constant temperature by releasing heat is called condensation. The temperature at which condensation occurs is called condensation point. For example, steam changes into water at 100 degrees Celsius. Therefore, the condensation point of steam is 100 degree Celsius. Steam, liquid. Condensation, cooling at 100 degree Celsius, gives rise to water, liquid. Sublimation. In sublimation, a solid changes directly into gaseous state by absorbing heat without changing into liquid state. Such substances in their solid state are called sublimates and in their gaseous states are called sublimes. Some examples of sublimates are camphor, iodine, naphthalene and ammonium chloride. A substance sublimates at a constant temperature is called the sublimation point of the substance. Evaporation the change of a substance from its liquid state to its gaseous state at any temperature is called evaporation. For example, water vapor is always present in the atmosphere due to the process of evaporation. Hot surroundings, movement of air and large surface area speed up the process of evaporation.